Good morning everybody, it's Joseph here. It's been a little while, uh, again, and that's because I've been really busy yet again. And the main reason for that is because I've been a very lucky boy and I've rigged up myself a second job. And it's a big deal for me, and it hopefully will benefit a lot of people. Uh, I, well, in the card game community anyway. Uh, I'm now working with Jasco Games as the UK distributor for UFS and as someone who's played UFS for a very long time that's very exciting for me and hopefully I can get in on the development and help with the guys in America and you know um, we've, we've got a really good rapport going and everything's been really really good so far they've been so good to me so I mean I'm very thankful and the opportunity is fantastic so Here's hoping that that carries on nicely. And that brings me to the reason for this video. Uh, we've not long had the Mega Man set for UFS in the UK, but hopefully with me behind the wheel over here now, we can start getting every future set on time and you know release at the same time as the US, and hopefully that will be really exciting. So, But with this video, it is going to be my top five picks for attacks from the Mega Man set. Now there's some really good attacks in this set, there's a lot. But I have to narrow it down to five, so here we go. My number five pick for Mega Man set, um, Rise of the Masters, is Shield Ram. Shield Ram is just solid. There's nothing wrong with it. The, you know, it's got decent numbers anyway. It has stun on it, which is a good, a good, a good keyword in any attack. Um, it's got a fantastic combo ability. That is just brilliant. Um, you can combo into it from so many things. For like air, you've got airman, the couple of airman's attacks. You've got um, hurricane upper. Hurricane upper is a fantastic inlet to this card. Off of fire, you have Yami Barai, which is another draw card. So you can just play cards and just then replace themselves. I'm pretty sure that's a deck waiting to happen. I just haven't figured out who the best person to do it is yet. But off fire, that's something that you guys want to build up. So if you do actually build anything with that, then do a do link me and leave me a comment because I want in on it. Um, it's got solid block, it's just, it replaces itself, it draws cards, there's just nothing bad about this card. Uh, one of the, my favourite things that combos into it, however, also off of fire, is my number four pick for the Mega Man set, which is Pharaoh Wave. Pharaoh Wave has draw cards printed on it, so I'm immediately going to like it. Um, it's difficulty is a little on the high side, but given that its numbers are really quite high and you know its secondary enhance makes it very powerful very quickly, it's it's just extremely powerful. The block on it is fantastic. It is um, it makes Pharaoh Man because on the ability for drawing cards, if you haven't already used the other enhance, which to be honest you probably have, you can throw it out and they're having to check a seven to stop you drawing two cards. Now, very few people run six checks these days, so that's at least two foundations down, if not two cards. If you're playing, um, you know, some of his, some of his check hacking, then you know you're pretty on a, you're on a good strike. You know, you want to make sure you draw those cards. Drawing those cards is fairly important, but even if you don't, you still leave your opponent in a bad position. If they check an attack on that, they're not going to try and pass it. It would, or I certainly wouldn't. The the character that I actually think. Pharaoh Wave makes significantly stronger is actually Morrigan rather than him off of life. The reason for that is because Morrigan has a problem of having not having enough cards in her hand to discard for her effects. Pharaoh Wave both rectifies this and also plays into her other abilities because you could if if they do check well and they are going to pass it, you can use Morrigan to hack that check um, and then get a plus on your next check for the trouble. And it's going to be strong regardless, so you know, you're doing well. And if you're discarding an attack for her effect beforehand, you can boost it, make sure that they don't block it, and then you use the enhance on it, then you press them and then you force them to drop the, to, to draw the cards, and if they fail it, you replace the cards that you've lost by drawing it. So I think the Morrigan becomes a much stronger character, pretty much on the back of Pharaoh Wave. My next attack on the, on the list, my number three, is Ring Boomerang. Cards that combo into themselves are immediately good. Cards that combo into themselves that draw cards are even better. Cards that draw into them that draw cards and combo into themselves with multiple on them, so that the second one you can just extend, even better. And this is an uncommon from the set. Yeah, now they're, they're, everyone needs to be playing this card. It's it's nuts. It's really powerful, especially if your character like Gutsman or uh, any character that can, you know activate to get a, a, additional damage on their attacks without having to commit themselves to do it. So, Pharaoh, Pharaoh Man, 
Um, Metal Man. No, no, wait, Metal Man can't play it. I apologise. Yes, he can. All. I'm lying. Um, Guts Man, that kind of thing. You know, that's that's the sort of character you want to be playing with this with this card. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Ring Man. I think he's very gimmicky, and everyone's running around trying to play him with Trinity Geyser. And I, I think he's the wrong character to be doing it. But I'll be doing another video on how I feel people should be playing Trinity Geyser, because I don't think anybody's quite doing it right. But feel free to prove me wrong, leave comments, tell me I'm an idiot, you know, go nuts. Um, but going back to Ring Boomerang, the card just, like, it's just solid. There's just nothing bad about it. You know, you, you, you're getting a little chippier damage, and if you do combo into yourself, you've got an 8 damage across 2 attacks. Attack that draws you a card. It's just cool. I love the card. And because it's an uncommon, there's no reason not to play it. My number 2 pick on the set is Leaf Shield. Now, I've been playing, Don everyone knows that I'm a Donovan player, and I've always loved Donovan. So with this one, before this set got released, and before I knew anything about any of it, or before I was employed by Jasko, anything like that, I sat there and I said to myself, hmm, I'd really like a ranged or weapon attack that's quite low on damage, really low difficulty, and has some kind of techie maneuver on it. Lo and behold, Leaf Shield gets printed, and it's everything I could have wanted. So, the one weakness that I had with Donovan was throw decks. A well placed Clark Buster just ate me, just completely ate me alive. But, this just solves all my problems. It's got breaker block on it, it's just a nice little chippy attack. Me Metal Man can run it really well as well because you just chip them at it and then you pick it back up from your staging area when you need it. It's it's such a good card and it is just, you know, having a little bit of the defensive plays is just perfect for me and I think that everybody should be doing it. However, one card has trumped it and because I'm a control player and I love this card and I would recommend it to everybody as long as they can get it. It is an ultra rare in the set, which is a problem because it means that it's difficult to pick up. But it's with the characters that I play, Skull Barrier, which is the number one pick for this list, just has to go in my decks. It just does. I've been me I've been wanting to play Ash, the Primo Ash, the, the form commit add two mid attacks from a carpool team momentum. For and make him my main deck for ages because I actually think he's horrifically underplayed. And Nivoise is just dis a disgusting card, and people should be abusing it like hell. It is a kill condition in and of itself, and you know, if you pl play your cards right, there is nothing your opponent can do about it. And the fact that it's a reversal is disgusting, but that's for another time. Skull Barrier in Ash is foul because you will guarantee that you will have the momentum to be able to play it. And when Felicia comes around, because she's recently been spoiled for Darkstalkers, she will also abuse Skull Barrier of Water rather than Death. But not only that, it's just, as someone who hates playing just pure aggro, I play red, orange cards and I win the game, it just ugh, it bores me to tears. I love the player interaction. So having Skull Barrier allows for mind games where you have momentum, they know you've got it because you either added it to your hand through Etin Cell, which is of course completely fair, um, or you've you know you've just you've made it clear that you have it and you don't play it, you're stopping your opponent from attacking you because they'll sit there and go, oh what's the point? He's just gonna skull barrier it. Then you don't, and then the next turn you just smack him in the face with something with multiple or powerful. It's just there's so much options given to you by this one card. And it's fantastic and that's why it's my number one pick for this set. Uh, I'll be doing more videos like this. I've still got to do uh, I want to do another top five for non-attacks in the set. I like to lump them all together. Uh, and then Dun Darkstalkers comes around, I'll be doing it again. So hopefully you guys can tune in and join me on that one and that'd be really cool. But for now, I mean, if you would disagree with anything that I've said on my top five attacks for Mega Man, or if you think that there's something that, you know, my order is wrong or anything like that, then feel free to leave a comment in my video and then you've liked the video, share it with all your UFS playing friends or ones that don't because, it, you know, now is a good time to get into UFS. The starter decks are amazing. Um, there's loads coming out and obviously it's just a really great game. And, you know, I, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in now if I didn't love the game. So, I mean, I, I would go out and go and share it with all your friends. And then leave a subscribe on my channel as well if you want to keep up with anything that I'm doing with UFS or any other card game or any video games or anything like that, then that would be cool. Anyways, it's nice to see you guys. I shall speak to you all later.